Hi guys, this is Rob from Icebox Auto, he's at age, going to show you a new install on the transit fan. Um, this is our 10.88 inch frame which is new to market. Uh, they've just released this with these little bad boys that pop out there. You may think that's got its own ears but it's not, it's actually where you put your phone so it's a cradle for your phone. So you do come with a little magnifying disc which comes inside the package which you stick on the back and stick your phone there. So obviously it's good for when you're driving, keeps out the way. Uh, but it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. So they tuck away behind the screen. This comes with the frame here. And so this is your original hazard buttons. But obviously the frame that goes here. And obviously this is the one with the little slide bars at the side of the air vent. Uh, this is the home page on the system here. There's an 8 core processor, 464 gig of RAM. A lot of these are shortcuts along the bottom. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a uh, rundown of what they've got. So you've got all these little physical buttons here to control the sound. Here's your home button, this is your navigation button, music and back buttons and stuff like that. So obviously that's your um, second. That's your Google Maps on there, you can put any map of choice on if you want. So if you're interested in Waze or Copilot you can do that. Um, also this is your Bluetooth here, so it's got full phone box support. You can stream your music too if you've got all your music on your phone. So the Bluetooth, this one here is your applications which we'll go into in a moment. This one's just an online app which you can change the actual the screen uh, skin here. So if you don't like this setup here, you can change it through this app. Here's your radio, which is a Google is shaking. Has RDS. Does work with the steering wheel controls too. Um, let's go back to that's your music and movies. So if you want to old fashioned want to put your movies um, or your albums onto a pen drive, and then you can do it old fashioned through the USB cable. You can use either of these apps to play that. So that one's just your um, application centre. So this is where all your apps go. Um, so pretty much a lot of them you won't probably use. But I'll just give you a little rundown just to show you how quick and responsive it is. Uh, we do get a lot, a lot of questions about lag and stuff like that on all on Facebook and stuff like not Facebook. Um, yeah, Facebook and we tend to stay away from the four core low processors and low ramp. And the reason being because they're just full of bugs and just dead slow. As you can see, it's nice and responsive. Um, okay. So there's your DSP sound processor, so we are doing a speaker upgrade today to the car, which you might hear a bit of background noise, but this is where you can allow us to fine tune it, if you're into all that type of stuff. Um, okay, some settings there, which shows a lot of the Android backend settings. Let's go back on. It works, so if you want to stick anything like a T T digital TV box to it, there's nothing on that today, so that's why it's a black screen. So if you've got digital TV, you can stick that in through there. Okay, this one's quite extensive, it's got like a lot of car settings on here, so obviously if you find that a, a lot of your original radios got any features on there for like, you know, look, check this one out here, seat massage, if, you, if you've got massages uh, in your seat then you can adjust it through there, that's quite a nice feature, but it depends whether your car's got that already or not. Um, okay, tyre monitor, okay, if your car's got TPS, TPMS should I say. Let me show you a little bit more on this. Okay, let's have a look at the one else we've got here. Um, okay, so there's your DSP. Oh, I've showed you that one, sorry, have a nice one. There's a few little laps here, you're not going to pretty much use them. So, obviously, there's your Google Maps if you want to use that for dab radio. So, if you want to put offline dabbing, which we saw for 39.99, you can add that in through there. Um, this one is our DVR camera which we've installed today, that's $49.99 for the DVR camera. So obviously this is where they um, record your drive and only work when your car is active. Um, so don't, don't, if you've got anyone playing with your car in the middle of the night then obviously it's not going to record. But this will do it all, all the, every time your engine goes on, it will record obviously what you're doing. Uh, it does come with a little SIM card at the side of the DVR camera so if you do want to take any coverage from that over for insurance purposes you can take it over to your PC that way. Uh, this is your car plane, the Android Auto one. So obviously this is where we would connect our phone. This is an Apple phone I'm connected today, so this is mine. So this is just taking apps from my phone. So obviously if you're interested in car plane Android Auto, that's a way of getting um, Apple Maps onto the system as well as another way of connecting your Google Maps. So there's your Google there. That's where we are. Um, okay, so if you want to just go back out. Car there, okay. Um, a few of these shortcuts which I've shown you previously, um, YouTube there, uh, there's your Play Store, so if you want to download any app on, apps onto the system you can do it through this uh, app store here, 
Uh, these two here, sink, aux and sink, uh, sink, aux and phone tend to be relatable towards your original Bluetooth. I'll be truthful with you, I've not really had a little play around with that, so uh, as I say, you can see that there. Um, so yeah, just to bring it to an end today, guys. So if you've got any questions, give us a shout. Uh, have a nice, nice day now. Take care, bye-bye.